Megan and today I'm going to do my first end of year wrap up about all of my favorite purchases of this year. Actually my top 10 because I'm sure there's like billions more but I got this idea from my subby Gwen when I asked you guys on Instagram stories to send me ideas for videos to do during vlogmas and this was Gwen's idea and I loved it so much like top 10 best purchases of the year yes i would love to know like everyone's answer to that and it was actually pretty hard it's like my practical stuff that i use the most and i just got tons and tons of use out of it and a lot of it was on a good discount so this i think is going to be a really hopefully helpful video to you guys to show you things that I don't normally talk about regularly on my channel. I believe all of this I've shown, yes, all of this I've shown at least once, I'm pretty sure, in my vlogs or something like that. And I think this is a perfect roundup of my truly best purchases of this year. And I just think this is super fun. So thanks so much, Gwen, for this idea. And this, like I said, is going to be my first of the 2018 roundups that I'm doing. So I'm also going to do my top 10 beauty discoveries of this year. I am probably going to do a top 10 most used beauty products of this year because beauty discoveries are things that I discovered during 2018. And then the most used could be like completely different products that I don't no normally talk about because they're just like I use it all the time and I feel like you guys know but I always have new people coming to my channel which I'm so appreciative of but I need to repeat what those most used products are you know and also it's really interesting for me to look at my collection to see like what am I using a ton of and like just kind of analyzing that. I also want to do a top 10 TV and movies that I saw this year because you guys know I'm obsessed with TV and movies and if you guys have any other suggestions on like top 10 lists that you want from me about beauty, about my life, about entertainment, anything like that, let me know what you would like to see in the comments below and definitely let me know what your top 10 best purchases of this year were. So I'm going to start it off really fun to me and it is sparkly stuff. So my one of my favorite purchases of this year are these hoops and I have worn these to death. These are the Nodri inside out hoops and so they have crystals on the outside but also on the inside of the hoop. So they are just extra extra sparkly. I purchased these during the Nordstrom sale this year and a few things that I'm showing you in this video were from that sale and I have worn these more than any other hoop earrings since I got them. They've pretty much replaced my Gorgiana G ring hoops and these are what I reach for because they have that little sparkliness as you like walk and move around and they're just fabulous and then this is like part of the same purchase. I'm including the Halo studs also by Nodri and so they have a bigger bigger um, crystal in the middle surrounded by smaller crystals and they are they look so real when you're wearing them and they're just the sparkliest things ever. I have the gold um, for both of these. They're a great price point even not during the Nordstrom sale but I would really recommend picking either or both of these up during the Nordstrom sale next August. I know that I am probably going to purchase some of these as gifts next year now that I know the quality and how much I love them. Literally, I've worn one of these pairs almost every single day since August and they look brand new. So they're definitely a wonderful piece of costume jewelry that looks super expensive and is really, really nice quality. So really love both of those. Another thing from the Nordstrom sale that I obviously had to talk about is my pile of Barefoot Dreams. So I have been so curious about Barefoot Dreams and finally during this Nordstrom, Nordstrom sale I just dove straight in and I bought a few pieces and one of the um, circle cardigans that I got was shedding which is not normal so I ended up returning that one um, and I can't find the top of this. This is the charcoal and it's just their circle cardigan cardigan 
it is like a blanket you guys when you wear it you just feel so cozy but it's not overly hot either and I'm saying that because the cardigan I'm wearing right now is super hot but it's really cute so I'm wearing it for this video even though I'm burning to death um, but these just look good at work when you're going to the movies like it dresses up a casual outfit but also looks nice when you're wanting to be like business casual or something so love that then I have my granny chic sweater I call it granny chic because it's just like this big fuzzy purple cardigan and honestly this is way too expensive for what it is I would not repurchase this by any means but it this is even more of a blanket than the normal barefoot dream stuff so this is super fuzzy amazing for the winter time and it gets really cold in my room so I've been wearing this a lot as I'm just editing or watching tv in my room and as I sleep because it is like a blanket so that's amazing but my number one pick from Barefoot Dreams, and this is all in like the same category, I'm counting this as like one favorite purchase for all of this stuff. My favorite are the socks, and these are the least expensive Barefoot Dreams item that I think you can buy, and they honestly are my favorite. Like I really like and use both of those a lot, but the thing I use the most are these socks. I got these during the Nordstrom sale as well. I picked up a pair for myself and for my sister, and I don't know if she's been wearing them a ton, but I wear mine all the time. Like, I have a few different pair of fuzzy socks that I really like, but these are the ones that I, like, look for, um, and if they're not washed, I'll obviously wear something else, but freaking love these so much. It's like the same kind of, it's kind of like a hybrid of both of these fabrics by them, and I can't remember if they were like 10 or 15 dollars during the Nordstrom sale but again a wonderful gift idea and like who doesn't want a luxurious pair of fuzzy socks like give someone this and that um patchology foot mask oh my god they would just like die and go to smooth and warm foot heaven <laughs> so love these a ton speaking of feet and footwear my favorite shoe purchase of this year were definitely my Sam Edelman loafers in the hot pink velvet so this is my third pair of these loafers and spoiler alert I bought another pair during Cyber Monday and I'll show you guys those in my Cyber Monday haul but the ones that I wore the most are these and I call them my power shoes because they're really like they just made me feel super confident like I don't wear heels pretty much ever to work um so when I'm having like an important meeting meeting or I just want to feel confident I have worn these shoes every single time like I had a big presentation at our national sales meeting and I wore these and I got compliments on them and it was just like they just make me feel a certain way they're so so comfortable always order half a size down in Sam Edelman shoes in general that's what I found I usually wear seven and a half but in these I wear a seven they fit perfectly there's no breaking in time because as you can see they're super super malleable and just soft leather and fabric so super amazing super comfortable get tons of compliments on them and I think of these as a neutral they go with everything I own black green blue I don't really wear brown but they would definitely go with brown as well like you're just super badass and amazing super comfortable and they go with more than you would think so love these and I got them for super cheap from Bloomingdale's a few months ago and definitely got my money out of them and more and I will purchase many many more pairs of these because they are my go-to shoe I just like getting them in different colors okay another thing that I absolutely love this year and this is the only beauty um product in my favorite purchases this is the dose of colors friendcation palette this is the Desi and Katie collaboration with dose of colors and like from the packaging itself you just know it's going to be like a party in a palette <laughs> and so this I've talked about so many times you guys are probably sick of it but this is honestly 
this is my favorite makeup purchase of this entire year and I bought quite a bit of makeup this year so this is my favorite palette because it has five mattes and five like glittery metallic shades and since I was just touching my shoes let me go wash my hands and I'll do some swatches definitely my favorite color in this palette is this green called dirty money it's the perfect olive green antique gold whatever you want to call it <laughs> it is oh my god there's no words it's perfect those are the words the only words and I love pairing it with this um, matte cranberry color called girl by I don't know why I always forget the name of that but these mattes in here are so creamy they blend so well on the eye and I love that combo of those two and then let's see just a kiss which is this um like light champagne color this is the name just a kiss is perfect because you can put it over any color and it gives it just a little bit of sparkle and I love that because sometimes I'll be really lazy and I'll do like a boring eye look but then I tap a little bit of just a kiss on top and it makes it like magical eyeshadow all of a sudden and this cranberry color oh my gosh this one Oh my god like look at that pigment oh my god like you can't make this shit up man like that is good eyeshadow and all of the metallics I metallics and glitters I apply them with my fingers it just helps to like spread them on that's how I get the best color payoff but the mattes are super beautiful I just love this palette let me swatch the black I honestly haven't used the black yet just because I don't know where to wear it to but it's a black with silver sparkle shimmer in it it's really pretty silver and kind of like blue that's really cool I just need an occasion to wear like a black smoky eye or something but so worth the money to me oh my gosh just like looking at it makes me so happy and definitely one of my favorite purchases of this whole year and definitely my favorite beauty purchase okay also beauty related are my highlights in my hair so this year I started to get my hair professionally colored and I have been coloring my own hair since I'll never forget it I colored my hair for the first time the day before the PSATs in I think that was junior year of high school are the PSATs in junior year or sophomore year? Whichever year it was, it was the day before the PSATs. And um, it was always box dye. I've used box dye since that day. But then this year, I really wanted to get highlights in my hair. And I was like, there's no way in hell. I trust myself to try to figure highlights out. I'm not going to ruin my hair. And so I went to my mom's hairstylist, Hannah. She is a coloring expert genius like she saved Alyssa's hair Alyssa had a terrible hair experience earlier this month or last month and Hannah saved Alyssa's hair so Hannah oh my god you are an angel sent from heaven and I'm so happy that you are doing my hair and that you're in my life so Hannah did um, balayage highlights or baby lights is what I think of them as and they're just really fine highlights in your hair and Hannah does such a meticulous job and it was so so worth the money because even when so now I obviously have deep hair and as the dye is like still it's really like rich and dark but as I've been washing it the highlights become more uh, present and it just adds such gorgeous dimension to my hair I love it so much it was such a wonderful investment to me because it gives my hair so much dimension and life and just beautifulness I just love how the highlights look even now that there's dark color on top of it and how they just accent the hair even more and just make it look absolutely phenomenal so 
my highlights are definitely one of my favorite purchases of this year because it was an investment but it's paying off so much because I got those done in June and now it's December and they're still going strong like underneath the dark hair and I will definitely have Hannah touch them up again for like the spring and summer and yeah there's just no words they are perfection. Something super random that is definitely one of my favorite purchases of this year are these little hair clips from Claire's. So <laughs> one time me and Alyssa were at the mall and she wanted to go to Claire's because it was like buy buy three get three I think was the deal and you guys know that that is always a recipe for disaster because you only want one or two things and then you end up picking out six like trying to find six things because it's like well I'm not gonna just buy three I mean I want to get three free but then you have all this crap you don't want so I was trying to be really really particular about what I purchased and we literally looked at every single thing in the whole store that is how we were there until the store closed you guys like you know how at the mall they have like those little grates that they can close the store with we were in the store after they pulled the grapes down okay it was insane but <laughs> it was worth it because I got these clips so there were four of them but I left one of them in my car and in the summer and it melted the glue that holds it together and so now it's just like the silver part and I just keep it in my bathroom to just throw up my hair really quick but these ones are all really cute and they do the perfect half up half down style which I do a ton especially at work or when I'm eating or something I just usually keep one of these in my purse which I'll talk about next and they are just like the perfect clips for half up half down so if you're ever at Claire's for whatever reason and you need to buy something else for the buy three get three free these clips are really really nice and like they just work really well like they haven't given me any issues other that than the one that like the glue fell off so yes love love those okay my purse so I have used a few different purses this year but this is the one that definitely was my favorite purchase of the whole year this is the Michael Kors Selma medium satchel bag this is the color damson in the Safiano leather I've done a whole video on this revealing it and doing a what's in my bag and what's in my bag right now is a whole bunch of of junk so <laughs> that might be interesting to see that but I'm not filming that right now um but it is just the most gorgeous bag I always keep the um crossbody strap on it for like flexibility but most of the time I do carry it with the top handle just in the crook of my arm the most beautiful color the most practical size and I got it for an insane deal. I got it, I think, for 50 or 60% off because this was a like a seasonal color and the season had ended. And it's the perfect color for me. This is my exact favorite color, deep purple or plum. And with the gold hardware, it was a no-brainer to me because it was everything I love. And Michael Kors Safiano leather is the only fabric I like to get purses in because it looks really nice and it wears really well like the bottom of this purse looks brand new and I've had this since April so love this so much I stole this idea from Chloe she had a purse like this a few years ago and it always stuck with me because it just looks so classy but it's so practical at the same time and my friend Kristen at work purchase one of these um this year as well because she loved mine so much so such a great investment and purchase I use it all the time and it's great also to smuggle in snacks to the movies because it's big enough <laughs> that's my favorite thing about it no I'm just kidding but I do use it for that um I just love it so much it makes me feel like a classy bitch and I love that feeling so Yes, I do love this purse. 
All right, a not as classy thing, but a very practical thing is my work backpack. So I have mentioned this before, but I purchased this on Amazon. It was $30, I believe, and I had been carrying a messenger bag to work because I have a work laptop and that was the only bag that it fit into. So I just couldn't take the one shoulder thing. It was really hurting my back and I was just like enough is enough. Like there's no reason I have to keep using this messenger bag. So I did some research and I ended up purchasing this um, backpack. It has amazing reviews and a lot of people use it as like a baby bag or like diaper bag, whatever. Um, but obviously it can be used as a normal backpack as well. It has a lot of good padding on the straps and on the back and it just is perfect. It has plenty of pockets and storage. I really don't keep anything in here. Um, one of you guys asked to see what's in my work bag as a video. Literally, I just keep my laptop and a few pens and maybe a snack. So that's really it. But this has proven to be a amazing thing for my back, for my sanity. It holds everything easily. It looks pretty cute. And yes, I just love it. Okay, another boring but useful thing that I purchased this year is an external hard drive. Wow, I know we're getting really cool up in here. So this I purchased on Amazon again, and this is a one terabyte um, external hard drive. It's so small, but it holds so much. And my laptop, my personal laptop, I really need to replace. I, I don't want to because it's going to be like $1,500 to buy a new MacBook. And it's just like not what I want to spend my money on right now. So what I did instead was I got a external hard drive because I work my computer to death doing these videos. And videos are huge in terms of storage. So I got this to help out with that. And it has helped a lot with my computer speed and stuff like that. So this was definitely one of my best purchases this year. Wish I would have done it a lot sooner. I just hook it up with the USB that comes with it onto my computer, just drag the files into it, and it holds my memories as well as my like final videos. I just find it to be such an important thing in this day and age to have a backup of some sort, and I did not have anything like that before. So now I do and it's a godsend. I saved the biggest for last. So this is my small suitcase. It feels huge holding it like this, but I purchased this suitcase when I started traveling for my work a lot more, and I haven't been on a work trip in a while, but for a period of time, I was traveling quite a bit, and I only had like duffel bags, and it was just like the worst. Like, Everyone else had their little suitcase with like four wheels on it and it was just so much easier for them. So I picked this up at Macy's. It was like a hundred and some dollars. It's Samsonite. It has like the nice extendable handle. It has the four wheels so it can like spin and stand and do everything perfectly. It's one of the smallest sizes. I don't remember what the exact size was, but I'll link it below. And it's perfect for a work trip or a short trip of any kind. So I absolutely love this. It has handles on all the sides, which was really important to me. And this was definitely one of my best purchases this year. And it just like brought me sanity for those work trips. Like my backpack brought me sanity for day to day work. That brought me sanity for like those extra trips that I wasn't used to going on. So those are my top 10 favorite purchases of 2018. I know this is kind of like a random assortment of stuff, but I hope that it was informative and interesting to hear. I love hearing about people's purchases and why they like it and why they bought it and how much they use it and stuff. I just find it so cool. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about mine and definitely let me know what your favorite purchases of this year are down in the comments below. I would love to hear them and remember, Every single day of December, I will be having a new video. So be sure that you're subscribed. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.